Crusaders and Highlanders kick off round number two, Friday night, 8 o'clock. That's from Melbourne. Man, you've got an early start. So what time does Razor have you out there training? Uh, we're not actually on the field probably until about 10 o'clock, but we've got a lot of stuff that we get done behind the scenes before that, whether it's getting our, ourselves ready or in the team with lots of meetings and learnings. So plenty of work to be done. Yeah, so, you know, you've had a couple of days to reflect on that the game against the Chiefs, especially the second half. What have you guys been talking about? You know, what can you do better and what went wrong in that second half? Oh, it's just about understanding that this competition's at the highest level it can be for rugby. So you've got to understand when you're 1% off, that has a massive effect. Or if the Chiefs, uh, they were playing some really good rugby, so we have to respect that and acknowledge that as well. So it's just about us taking the learnings from it and then, yeah, figuring out what's best for us to go forward and how we adapt. Their loose forwards, well, I mean, this is what, you know, when you're watching the game, it appeared that they had a really good game. Did you think that? Yeah, credit where credit's due. That they've got an amazing list for trio personnel-wise, and they all performed. So um, they're all threats on the ball and across the field, and it's just another thing that we need to neutralise. Tom, last year, you know, you, you had patches as well. You know, a bit scratchy at times. Got it together at the end. So absorbing that from last year, does that mean that there's no panic around the squad? There's no overreaction after that loss. No, exactly. I think it's just a really crucial learning point. And as long as we take those learnings from the game and as a team, everyone acknowledges it for one and then takes what they need to to get better, then we're in, actually in a really good spot still. And I think everyone understands that. Is part of it that when things are unravelling or not going as well like that, did you think that maybe you tried too hard at times, not just you, but the team? Um, I wouldn't say try too hard. I think as a team, we're always giving it our all and doing everything that we can for the jersey. It's just about whether we're putting our effort in the right areas and whether it comes down to strategy or whether it comes down to execution, that's what we work out now. But I think the effort was there and at the right at the right level, but it's just where we put that effort that really matters and that's probably what you guys see as fans and spectators. Okay, can you explain that a little bit more? So, I mean, because, yeah, you're right. You're seeing things that we're not seeing here. Oh, not necessarily. It's just about where we put our effort, to be honest. And obviously, strategy is a massive part of the game these days. So, obviously, we need to have the right strategy. And if we don't, we need to be able to adapt it quickly on the field. So, and everyone's working towards the same goal, both us and the Chiefs on Friday night. And, yeah. Tom Christie, open side for the Crusaders with us. It, when it comes to accuracy, it, as you say, those are your fine margins, aren't they? Because there were times there that watching the game, you just didn't expect you guys to either drop the ball or the pass to miss or, or not to find that gap. That's just what you expect with such a champion side. Yeah, exactly. And I think we expect that of us as players and we want to execute at the highest level. So it's... Yes, yeah, it's extremely fine margins in this, in this sport and we probably wouldn't want it any other way. That's why we love the game. That's why it's so competitive. Yeah, likely facing another young gun, another young rising number seven this weekend and Billy Harmon from the Highlanders. Damn good player too, mate. Yeah, he's a good friend of mine. We've obviously played a lot of footy um, with each other at Canterbury and now a few times against each other. So it'll be, it'll be a good battle and I'm sure we'll both be excited for it. But, yeah, ultimately, it's just going to be a good match, I think, which which gets me excited. Yeah, look, and look, your stats last year, your numbers last year were just absolutely fantastic. A lot of us were very surprised you didn't get the All Blacks call-up. But I know that you'll deflect that as well, because for you, it's about actually performing in this team, isn't it? Yeah, exactly. I just want to do my bit to make sure our team's in the best position it can be. And whether that's making tackles, whether it's getting turnovers, I just want to contribute and contribute the best I can in my role. So obviously everyone's got a dream and everyone's got goals to reach those high levels. But the way I see it, if I can do the best for this team, that's the best shot I've got of achieving those goals. So just put my head down and keep working. A couple more questions. We'll let you go because I know that you're busy and you've got things to do and things. But is it like no general panic? And Razor's reaction as well, was there no general panic? No, nah, I think what we kind of discussed earlier, as long as we take the learnings from that game and find areas of improvement, then we're actually in a really good spot. The thing that we're blessed with at this time of the season is time. So 
and we've got time to respond and time to adapt. So it's, it's a blessing if we take those learnings, and, I'm, and I know that we will. And, and finally, just in terms of the new rules, the speeding up of the game, was that significant? Did you actually notice much about that? Not too much at, actually on the field. I think I noticed it more as a spectator watching other games over the weekend. You saw that there was a lot of more high-scoring games over the weekend, whether it was because it's early in the season with a lot nicer weather everywhere being played or whether it's the fact from the game being a little bit faster. But there's times I noticed it in our game, but I definitely noticed it more as a spectator for a more exciting game of footy for all the rest of the games over the weekend. Does Melbourne finally, finally, sorry, i got one more question. Does Melbourne feel that much different? I mean, I know that you're just in camp, you've got your heads down, you actually got this game to look forward to and that. Does it feel that much different? Well, we're excited to get over there. I personally enjoy jumping on a plane and going to a different country or a different city to kind of spend a, spend a day and then get back into the footy. So it's, it's different and it's exciting and it's fun, but ultimately we're there to do a job and we're there to play rugby. So that side of it's just no different. All the very best for the rest of the campaign and you personally for the year too, and we appreciate your time enormously. Thank you, Tom. Perfect. Thank you very much. Devlin. Now the next rule. The platform.